Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And check out this sweet rig we just got brand new. It's a 16 ML, it's a 2024. Can't wait to show you. This is the perfect tiny home on wheels, uh, extra living space at the cabin for you, that bunk house that you're always looking for, a spot to send the kids, extra folks that come up, you're always needing a little extra sleeping. This thing's great, it's under 30 feet, it's half ton towable. I mean, there's so much going on that we'll get started, stay tuned for everything, and we'll get you on the outside, and we'll get you inside like we always do, and we'll see what you think. So starting right up front here, I mean, look at this back patio, you're popping a couple chairs, it has a couple plugins, lights, outdoor speakers. So if you want to string, you know, some lights around here, make it nice and festive, that'd be really great. Um, it is kind of fenced off. So if you have your pets or little ones or anything like that, maybe find like a little gate that would work here to kind of close it down if you if you need that. But other than that, this back patio is just awesome. I mean, setting out here, like I said, lake house. Uh, you bought a piece of property that you're not ready yet to build or if you are building a home and need something to stay in for a while the price point on this thing is just out of this world for all that you get so we really like this front porch has this cool blue led light kind of going with the timber wolf light you know windows up there i really like the finish on the side it is that steel siding but it kind of gives it that wood look so it really blends in would look really good at the campsites or on your piece of property so um, you know, up here, grab handles to get in, just really, really sturdy, really well built. Sliding glass door on here. Um, for you taller folks, you know, you might have to duck. It is a little shorter, but once you get inside, you got all the headspace you need. Uh, for how small this is, this does really sleep a lot of people as well. Really well laid out. Um, right as you walk in, you can kind of notice you got yourself a nice little uh, breakfast nook, dining table, sit and play cards right by the TV. All your control systems are going to be right here as well. So all your lighting, your tanks, uh, your heat, your tank heaters, it's got heat pads on the tanks, USB, USB-C power, uh, you're driven for your sound, voltage meter, you got your TV, the Forest River, this one's coming with a TV, which is right across from the couch. So really good viewing area. This couch does fold out into another sleeper here on the main level. So this thing will sleep about six people if you want to fit them in here. Um, really easy to do if you want to flip that down. You just take this table here. Where are they? A couple little clips. Drop this table down to the side. Maybe move the chairs. And then this bed's able to flip out and you got all this floor space here. Um, so I really like that. The windows in here are super big, gonna allow a lot of natural light, all the great views no matter where you're looking, whether you're on top of the lofts, you're down here, you know, your campsite, the lake, I mean, it's just windows everywhere. Really like that. So right now we kind of have the windows set up for this one, a viewing. Once we get on the outside, I want you to really notice on the inside, you can kind of see the tint. On the outside, it's got that mirrored kind of look. So it's gonna be like the people can't see in, you can see out, really help with the sun too. So they got the zebra shades. So we got this one pulled all the way down for blackout mode. I got this one pulled down kind of like halfway. So if you wanted to let a little light in, you can kind of do that. And like I said, we left all these ones up this will show you all the window space in here. All these windows open, so cross ventilation is gonna be great. You also have a fan up top to move around some air. And if that's not enough, AC in this bad boy. So with the open space in here and the ducted AC, it's really gonna be able to cool down this whole space. There's not gonna be any real nooks and crannies that are gonna be warm because it's just one big open area. Um, so really nice job there. Gives you a nice recliner. So again, I mean, you can fit a ton of people in here. You know, really be relaxing, couple on the porch, maybe inside, hanging out, playing cards at the table, so. Um, I really like what they did with the kitchen. It was a little bit of a step down, so you get a little more of that headspace. But this thing is, I mean, like I said, a tiny apartment on wheels, tiny home on wheels. They're giving you an ice maker. They're giving you a dishwasher. They're giving you a washer dryer combo set. I mean, storage above. I really like these. Uh, newer kind of you can see through them um, but they'll block some stuff so you'll never you know at a first glance you'll know what's in there uh, I'm never gonna lose anything just keeps it really clean might help keep it organized so it doesn't look a mess when you're kind of looking at them so that's throughout the kitchen a lot of space in there solid surface countertops in here as well 
Um, this sink is really unique. So you got a ton of stuff going on with this thing. Pull down high rise faucet. You got a glass washer, a bottle washer. You know, a lot of people have their water bottles, baby bottles, things like that. If you don't have those little scrubs that go in, stick it on there, wash it out, keep it clean. So you don't have your coffee mug that sat here for a few days and it's getting all gross on the inside and you can't get your sponge down in there. You can just spray that out. For all you beer lovers, you know, you go to those craft bar beers and, you know, if you get your bottled beer, they're washing out your glass and now you can be part of that team doing that as well. Um, this sink, so much going on. You got a cutting board. You know, you can put your fruits, veggies, you know, wash your stuff in here, drains through. If you're conscious about water, you got a nice little extra basin sink here to do some washing. It comes with a rollover drying rack as well. And then a big one deep basin, um, stainless steel farm style sink. So, and with it recessed, you can just brush the crumbs off into it. It's got a cool little like honeycomb look to it as well. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. If not, give me a call. My number 218-740-4964. Write it down now. Give me a call, shoot me a text. Let me know how we can help. What you like about this rig? Um, but yeah, just, I mean, just so many features in just the sink alone is just awesome. All the power that you're going to need for your crock pots, your coffee pots, whatever you want to do, Instapot, you know, you want to charge your Bluetooth speakers, whatever you got going on. We got all this um, power right here for you. More USBs. The window over the sink opens up. Yeah, three burner cooktop in here too. So again, I mean, this thing just really feels like home. I mean, it's so so versatile and so usable with all the stuff going on in it so you got the three burner a decent sized oven in here as well so i heard one guy say in the video of a cornish hen could probably fit in there not a turkey but you probably fit a cornish hen all the pizzas stover's lasagna all that good stuff a couple pull-out drawers for storage down here then as well and i mean even the even oh, if you can see that so soft clothes storage on the oven Full-size fridge and freezer, so pull-out freezer doors, double door fridge in here as well. Brand new, still got the styrofoam in it. Like I said, this thing just arrived, so if you guys are getting ready, you got that lake property that you just don't know what to do with. This last summer, you had so many guests come up to your place, and you didn't have a place for them all to sleep, and you need extra sleeping. This is the rig for you. Let's see if we can, there we go. Um, moving back into the bathroom, again, pocket door on here, so with the smaller rig, you're never swinging that into anybody, obstructing what's going on in the kitchen, nice pocket door in here. All this, I mean, the storage space in the bathroom is great as well. Nooks and crannies up there for towels, toiletries, more towels, you know, like I said, if this is at the lake property, maybe you got a ton of beach towels, a lot of storage in here as well. They're giving you a porcelain toilet, so that's going to be awesome. Um, really residential feel, fush, flut, porcelain, fush, foot flush porcelain toilet in here. Um, really nice sink. I mean, the size of the sink is big enough to get both your hands in there, get everything you need to done, get done in the bathroom. You also have a nice medicine cabinet. This has a tankless hot water heater, so as long as you have propane, you're gonna have hot water. Um, so that's gonna be great. All your controls and everything for that are in here. Your GFCI is in the bathroom as well. Um, I like this shower. I mean, ample space in here. Again, for you guys, six feet, it's gonna be tough. So there's an outdoor shower on this. So if you guys wanted to, if it's your own property, you know, we're getting rinsed off and everything outside. Otherwise, coming inside. Nice thing is if you are six feet, just pop on this, you know, this little seat right here, still big enough, close the door, get cleaned. You do have a vent in the bathroom too. So pop this open um, and eliminate some, look at that. Eliminate some of the moisture. Um, you got your light in here. It's a pretty bright light, but you know, if you are showering at night, this is your only a little light. So um, bringing in some extra light in here is going to be great for you. It's just a super cool rig. Even under this sink, there's a little bit of storage. So 
you know, they're really utilizing all the space in this rig to give you that ample experience of just the tiny home living spot under there to be able to fit a garbage can so you're not tripping over that. We really like that. Oh, Coming in. Hey, this is Nick. Howdy, guys. This is Nick. If you're lucky enough, he'll be doing one of your shows. This this could be yours. So, yeah, we're just kind of going around showing everybody the cool rig, brand yeah, new. So, very nice. It reminds me of one of those modern apartments that you find out. See, like I told you. Yeah. So, uh, we'll show you the main sleeping area up on the loft. So, we'll head up the stairs here. You know, they're a little steep, you know. Um, so, kind of just watch yourself. But, this is gonna be the main sleeping area up here. Um, it is a little shorter, so you're gonna kind of have to crawl around. But the space up here with this mattress, you could fit a, you probably could fit a king mattress up here if you really wanted to. It would really take up all like the real estate or the floor up here. But really, if it's just kind of coming up here to sleep, you know, like I said, there's not a whole lot of headroom to do a lot of other things. So just may making this place just the one big king mattress den all the pillows blankets how cozy would that be all these nice bars so you can still be part of the team and not fall down coming back like i said here i mean i can kneel on it i got you know here up here but enough space to move around power usb everywhere up here the window opens to get cross ventilation a lot of push puck lights you know windows on both sides really good ample storage up here as well and then they give you a little fireplace. So cool thing is, is this fireplace is gonna be electric. So when you're plugged in, you're gonna get electric heat out of there. Otherwise you can just have it like we have it set now cause it will get a little warmer up here in the loft, but you can just have a nice little fireplace ambiance. So just think of some of those cozier nights. Maybe it's raining that day. You come up here, turn the fireplace on, grab your favorite book, kick back, relax, stare out the window, wait till the sun come out and then head back outside. But I mean, these storage drawers, are super deep so everywhere you look you mean you just kind of have storage all over here um if you wanted to maybe get like a tension rod from like a walmart or something one of those shower curtain smaller tension rods you could put that in there for hanging clothes because i don't think either one of these have them no so you know if you wanted to hang some clothes one of those tension rods might be really cool they do hold a lot of weight um, ducted for AC up here, so again, it will be nice and cool. It's not just going to get all that heat rise, and you do have a nice AC duct up here to keep you cool. So, um, and then we got another loft on the other side. We'll kind of show you that from up here because you're going to need one of those Lippert ladder extenders, um, not only for inside, but if you want to get on the roof outside too. So that'll be a dual purpose ladder for both sides. So, you know, maybe that's extra storage for you guys and then just need a place to put a bunch of extra stuff, um, you know, or again, for more kids, put a nice little mattress up there, ton of pillows, blankets for the kids over there, and they can turn that into their little nook and little play space as well. So um, just a lot of really cool stuff going on in this camper. We are gonna come back down the stairs. I still feel fortunate to be able to go up and down those stairs. Um, so this would be a rig that I could definitely use. Again, you know, the fan up there. Really, really versatile. So uh, we'll cut, get around the outside here and we'll show you a couple features that are on the outside. Again, kind of just want to point them out here again. On the roof, you got speakers, you got lights outside, and then you got all the appropriate plugs. You do have a cable hookup. So if this was at like a seasonal site or something, they have cable. If you wanted to run a cable or put a TV, you can maybe mount it into this or wherever you want to do, you could have cable TV outside too. So like I said, this thing, it's just over 7,000 pounds, so it is half ton towable if you guys really wanted to kind of move around with it. But a lot of people are, like I said, are just bringing it to their site. So most people that are doing the destination campers need to get somebody to bring it there or come and grab their other one because they just don't have the vehicle to do it because most of those are like one tons because of the bumper pull. So this guy would be a really great option for you. It is got four stabilizer jacks, one on each corner there for you. So dropping those down. You got a leash latch for your buddy to hook those guys up right there. You got the uh, fully enclosed underbelly on this rig as well. 
They got the nice off-road tires going on here. And if you were traveling with this thing, these tires are kind of cool. They got this little tire pressure monitor thing. We'll kind of slip it off. You can see it switch to red. Um, so if you were traveling and you look down and you see the red, you'll know you'll need air. It doesn't really tell you what your PSI is, but it it'll tell you any of there so just a quick glance while you're kind of getting ready moving um, that's just a nice little safety feature you got an lp quick connect outside as well so hooking up a grill or making a nice little outdoor grill patio space maybe on the side over here is going to be really great here's that outdoor shower i was telling you about so you got hot and cold water on the back side of this rig as well Water pump for winterization, super easy and accessible right here in the back of the, or in the front of the rig here for you. It kind of, it's weird because it, the patio feels like the front of the rig, but you got your tongue jack up here. So it kind of feels backwards, but it's, it's kind of, kind of unique. Um, two 30 pound LP tanks on this. So they know that you are going to be, you know, this is more of a kind of living in and just like camping on the weekend. So they give you more propane on board. Uh, with Bullion's deals, we're always going to fill these and we're always going to throw you a brand new 27 Deep Cycle Marine Gray battery with a battery box. Those are all included in our deals here too. So around, you know, it's hard to say which side is the campsite. There is no awning on this unit, but that's okay. You have that, that front patio. Here's going to be your on-demand hot water heater. And let's just double check. Yeah, just coming in just under 7,000 pounds dry weight on this rig. So that's, I mean, that's crazy. Termination valves all in one spot right there for you. You got a black tank flush, your water hookup. So you got your city water connection, your fresh water fill is going to be all right here as well for you. Furnace coming out the side, so it's not coming out. You know, sometimes they come out on the campsite and you kind of worry about it. So having it back here out of the way, away from the kids is going to be awesome too. And then, yeah, just look at, you know, the windows. And like I said, you can kind of see that mirrored effect um, from the outside. So it kind of gives you, you can't really see in as well. And then up top there is where that Lippert ladder extender connection is going to be to get up to the roof and check all your stuff up on the roof too. So having that right there, I mean... This is, this is just a super cool rig, coming in under 30 feet, coming in under 7,000 pounds, washer, dryer, dishwasher, I mean, ice maker, the whole nine yards, sleeping for at least maybe six people. Um, what more do you want? Again, my name is Kyle Bittman. I'd love to help you out. Any more questions you guys have about this, there is a comment section. Hit that thumbs up subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a beat around here our videos are coming out we're bringing in so many new floor plans and getting ready for the 2024 season it's going to be a really good year for us so give us a call if you want some more information on this this one just came in i'm sure it won't last long so we'd love to help you out my number again 218-740-4964 shoot me a text shoot me a call let me know i can help we're here for you Next year, we celebrate 70 years in business. So Bullion's been around. We're going to be around. We're here to take care of you guys. We'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.